Hey guys, and welcome to the introduction to rigging in Blender. This is a very important subject for CG film because every film has to go through it in order to make things move. Rigging is a step right before animation that allows your objects to actually be animated. Now, there's two different types of rigging. There is character rigging, which of course involves characters and their skeletons and stuff like that. This is the more typical rigging that most people are familiar with in the fact that they understand these characters need to have a skeleton in order to move. Now, the object rigging part of it is a little bit less intuitive because people think that it's more physics-based most of the time. But in reality, one good example is machines. Of course, machine rigging is very intricate, very complex. There's a lot of moving parts. For example, cars uh, or cranes or something. That needs to be rigged in order to work correctly. A lot of people think it's, you know, Joe's oh, just physics. It's just how it works because in real life, that's how it works. But in, in animation, you have to actually rig it manually and make sure everything works in tandem with each other. Of course, there's also the more primitive object rigging where you don't even use an armature, but rather use a bunch of different constraints and stuff like that, where you can make one object drive another object's movement. That's also considered rigging, even if you don't use a rig. So we're going to talk about that in this video. I want to show you the idea of an origin point, which is very, very important when rigging because the origin point determines how an object will rotate and where it'll rotate around and therefore it'll determine how it animates. So if you take a look at this cube here, you can see that our cube has an orange dot right in the middle of it. See there? No matter what direction I go, it's always in the middle, which means it's directly in the middle in 3D space. And that orange dot represents the origin point. It's also the the spawn point, so to speak, of the three axis arrows here that we see here. So that's actually a good indicator that the orange dot is the origin. And if we move this origin point somewhere else, it will rotate differently. So if I just go ahead and hit R, you'll notice it's rotating directly in the middle. You'll notice the actual the dotted line actually comes from that origin point. And I can you know do a double rotation. It's still doing the same thing. Now, if I went ahead and went to edit mode, when you go into edit mode, you don't move the origin point. When you go into object mode, you do, as you can see here. So I'm going to go into, go into edit mode and move all the vertices a little bit to the right on the y-axis, right? So now the origin point is over here, as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and tab into object mode again. And you'll notice the arrows and the orange dot, they're all in the same place. But then now the cube is over here. So if we actually rotate it now, you'll notice that it actually rotates around the center here as if that was the origin point, which it is. And so, of course, if you have an object with an origin point that's not directly in the middle of its mass, you're going to get this kind of movement. And that animation could be desirable or it could not be. But of course, it'll make it much more difficult to animate the more simple animations, such as pivoting around the center of the mass, you wouldn't really be able to do that with this origin point because it rotates around a different center of mass. So what you want to do is be mindful of these origin points and know that origin points basically drive a lot of fundamental deformations for rigging. So keep that in mind. We're going to go more into it in the next videos, but this is the introduction to rigging in Blender.